once in a while you will be required to look for a transaction that you previously entered into pitch tree accounting software so um, there are different ways of going about looking for those transactions by going through this navigation menu or the menu itself but instead of going through that you can easily and uh, do it faster by clicking edit and click find transaction so this window here is a filtering window that allows you to narrow down your search based on what you know about that particular transaction for example um, you can narrow it down by date what type of transaction did you perform and um, range of reference number you know invoice number or po number um, who is it associated with? Is it for a customer, vendor, or employee? And then the specific job ID number or range or item ID number or a range of um, amount on that particular transaction or the account ID. After you filtered it, you can click find and then the result will be displayed right here in this box. So. For example, you have a customer that's actually looking for a specific transaction. It's an invoice number 1000. So all you need to do is click on edit and click find transaction and type in here. Since we don't know what the date is, just type in the reference number 1000. And then it's click in here. So this is the transaction, which is an invoice, what we're looking for now. If you only knew a little bit of information in regards to what you're looking for, for example, you only know that this transaction was for O'Hara ID number, and then it's about 1400 and um, you know it's around March 2012. So just based on that data, you can click on here, click find transaction. You want to make sure that the dates are within those range the type of transaction which is actually an invoice and you have a customer ID here so you're going to type O'Hara and then uh, we don't know any of this job or item ID so but we do know what the transaction so it's between um, 1300 to 1500 so I'm just going to do that one here and then I'll click on fine and it's right here so the idea is the more you know about what you're looking for, the better it is and the faster you'll find the result. And uh, just get to know that the next time someone calls you for a copy of an invoice or a PO or even a payment, just go through edit and find transaction and but try to get the most specific information like the reference number or the check I check number or the payment number or things like that. So if you have additional questions, please, please feel free to um, email me at ask at isonetworks.com or um, call me at 630-336-2139. Good luck and I'll see you at the next tutorial.